Hi there, it's Kevin from RogueDeckBuilder.com here with a gate crash draft. This is actually only my second gate crash draft that I've ever done, so forgive me if I make some new decisions. Uh, right off the bat, we have a bomb with Aurelia, so this is pretty much a duh pick as we will pick Aurelia. Also, like really cool, the Boros charms in here as well. Um, nothing else in these colors though, so. It does look like we'll be putting our opponents to the left of us into uh, Demir colors as there won't be many options in this first pack. So we'll go ahead and take this Aurelia. I actually really like Boros in draft. I, I My favorite combination to go is, is the three color white, red, black. I, I just love the ability to splash in the extort. Extort can really make the grindy games go into your favor. Uh, Righteous Charge is always a good pick in Boros as you do try to overwhelm them. Um, I think the, the, the Urbis is a little bit... Uh, four for flying for five isn't bad. Um, this would curve out at six. So we already have one six drop, so I hate to take two six drops right off the bat. Gridlock's really, really, really good card. Um, I don't want to go blue. Blue is kind of the weakest, in my opinion, the weakest color in draft. I don't like Simic or Demir. So it's between these two guys. I don't like the double white in, in either of these scenarios. We could just take an Orzov off Gilgate, but that is way too quick to be taking a Gilgate. Uh, pit Fight's always good. I guess we could go Pit Fight. It is in our colors as it is red. I think, I think that is the better move, is to grab the Pit Fight. Uh, not a very overall strong pack. A lot of weak cards in here. So we'll take the Pit Fight. Uh, Holy Mantle's not bad, actually, especially on, on cards like Aurelia or other flyers, if we can go the flyer white route. Uh, pretty bad cards, though, here. Tower Defense is bad. Primal Visitation's bad. Keymaster Rogue's good, but I, I really want to play this Aurelia. I know I shouldn't get pigeonholed into my first pick, but, yeah, Aurelia's just too much of a bomb not to play. Uh, we could just take the Warmind here. It is a creature. Bad third pick, but I mean, th this this pack's pretty much bad to begin with. Or just this the Smite, possibly just the Smite here uh, as, as another removal option. And Smite's actually really good in the Boros, as you be, will be swinging a lot, and it destroys the blocked creature automatically. So I'll, I'll take the Smite. So let's see here. I like the Basilica Guards for the Extort. I don't like it that it's a Defender. Uh, Ember Beast is okay. It's actually pretty pretty decent in Boros. So is the Skin Brand Goblin. I'm actually surprised at how well. I had three of these last night in my draft, and, and it was awesome having just the option of a 2-1 Blood Rusher plus just a 2-1 for, for two. Um, but ex Extort is just such a powerful, powerful ability in this in this format. Uh, there's another extort guy, the Syndicate Enforcer, and also the Killing Glare. And if I am splashing, Killing Glare is by far the best card out of this pack. I don't think I need to take a Basilica Guard or a Goblin at this point. I don't think they're fourth pick worthy. I mean, one of these could easily wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Killing Glare. So we're looking good on our removal package. Uh, Thespian Stage, not very good in Limited. Uh, great card in in legacy probably there's a lot of people that are that are already brewing this card the dutiful troll is a great great card and we got another basilica guard we could go more of this black white splash red uh control heavy deck i also really like more uh martial glory even though it is just a quote-unquote giant growth what it, what it works like in Boros is you give the your unblocked dude plus zero plus zero and your blocked one plus zero plus zero. So you save the blocked one and you get the three damage through. But I think Dutiful Troll is just the most powerful card out of all of these. I, I love it in the extort sort of extort decks, but it's either between the Dutiful Guard and the Basilica Guards and or the Dutiful Thrill. I think I'm going to take the the Dutiful Thrill. Fire Striker is okay. It's one of those you know, 22nd, 23rd picks. I really like mugging. We have another, we have another dutiful throw. This could have been three Basilica guards here. Um, we're already pretty good on the removal. I think I will just take this mugging here 
and I don't want to be have too much dutiful throws. So I mean, this will guarantee out of this pack that we have the removal that we need. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the mugging. Ember Beast is also great, but we're looking pretty slow here. Again, not a very strong pack. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the Skin Brand Goblin. Uh, Martial Glory is alright as well, but we need to guarantee that we have at least some, some creatures. And the Skin Brand Goblin is the... Yeah, is the most powerful card here overall. Again, the Martial Glory is okay, but you, you often can get these very late. So I'll go ahead and take the Skin Brand Goblin. All right. The Gargoyle's not too bad. It's good with Cypher stuff, but we're in a color that already has flying to be in with two of them. There's plenty of black and white, and so I think that... This ended up getting cut anyway. Uh, other than that, these are pretty. The, the Paranoid Delusions are good in a in a Demir deck, but the rest of these cards are over, overall pretty weak. The the Watcher is okay as well. The the Har the Halbeerders are not bad, and they could definitely make the cut. They're pretty pretty strong at three two for two. All right, nothing nothing in the colors we're trying to go. Um, Spell Rupture is okay. I actually like Midnight Recovery, and it is in our in our in our colors. Very good uh, with Blood Rush, actually. You can start to get back a lot of card advantage if you, th if you throw this on one of your flyers. So we'll take the Midnight Recovery and, and possibly we'll play this. Righteous Charge Wield. We could go for like a very, very aggro sort of build. We also have this Corpse Blockade, which I do think is just a little bit stronger than, you know, this is two colors and we're looking at already three colors. So I'm going to take this Corpse Blockade. It's not bad with a bunch of weenies. Uh, Passage isn't isn't bad. It's a great cyborg card against other heavy, heavy removal decks, so I will take it. And Ember Beast did wield, and we could definitely could play it. And it's not too. It's it's actually very good in Boros. Can't go wrong with the Mog Flunkies. And all these are really bad. I I really don't even like this. Uh, just card a card draw a card 10 street market really don't even, I wouldn't even play it let's take a foil land here and we'll take the tilling might as well won't play it but it's almost a force so that's normal so looking okay we got the removal we need um, I think this the Sky Knight Legionnaire is overall the best pick here. Very powerful card. I also like the Orzhov Key Rune because it fixes our mana, and the Spy is not bad either. A two three flying four four is not bad. I I do like the Crypt Gast a lot. Just not in. We're not even set on black yet. Um, I don't want to take the Crypt Crypt Gast and kind of pigeonhole us to black. I would like to stay more in the Boros. If I could, yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely gonna take the Sky Knight Legionnaire. I think it's the best pick overall, and hopefully the Key Rune wields. I mean, these it's between these three, definitely between the Crypt Gas, the Orzhov Key Rune, and then and the Legionnaire. But we'll take the Legionnaire. Again, Holy Mantle is never bad. Uh, another Ember Beast. Gill Gage is really good for Demir, and that's a, a great mythic for. Wow, I hate to pass up this mythic for uh, green, and it's probably worth a ticket or one or two tickets, but just not going to be playable. I mean, we could go more of a green route and try to splash over into green. It is a very powerful card. Um, I don't think there's anything else in this pack that really benefits us too much. Yeah, it's a, it's another pretty weak pack. Well, these these are all good, but I mean, not in our colors, not in our colors, not in our colors. Uh, Hands of Bonnie's good, but again, not in our colors. So maybe I'll just take this giant out of age. I'll just be a little bit greedy here and and take something that that gives me a ticket. 
I think the Ember Beast will wield anyway. And if and if we do have to go into Gruel, we will. Can't go wrong there. This is actually a fun card with the one that says target creature can't be blocked except by two or more, because then you get an unblockable. Hexproof's actually pretty good as well. But again, I don't want to want to have to go into Gruel. Uh, Cartel Aristocrat's not bad. The, of course, the 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 Halbeerders is in our colors and is a great card with Battalion. Um, I like the Spire Tracer with Battalion as well. I've actually played this in Sealed. In the most of the decks that I'm, in my Sealed that I played, I did go Gruel Splash White. And Spire Tracer did very well in, in most of those. But I think I'll take the, the Halbeerders. It's the, clearly the best pick here. Oh, what a bomb. I can't believe this made it all the way. This is one of the better cards out of the better rares out of Gruul. Won me a lot of games in my first sealed. Um, definitely, definitely a a great pick here. And quite the signal, I would say. And I like Skullcrack, need it for standard, but Wrecking Ogre is just clearly better. Another Skullcrack. <laughs> so, Skullcrack's great in standard. It's not that great in limited. It's great in a, a very hyper aggressive uh, Boros stack. But I'm thinking I'm going to take a fixer here. The, the infantry is okay. It's a 2 3 four, 4 3, and then it has a possibility to become a 4 3. It's one of those cards that it's a great 20 through 25. Yeah. Um,. I think yeah, I think I'm I'm going to just take this fixer here over the skull crack and the <laughs> even though like I said I need these suckers for standard, but we'll get them. Eventually get them. So I'll take the world skill gate. Another gift here with the Hellraiser Goblin. I think it is just a little bit better than the skin brown goblin. And then again, this this is showing us that Gruel is wide open. Um again though, we aren't at all needing to go into Gruel. In fact, I'd rather splash black here for the the Killing Glare and the Midnight Recovery. I do believe that the Hellraiser is just slightly better than the Skin Brand. And right now we do three drops. We do we do have more two drops than three drops. Um, Hellraiser Goblin and Wrecking Ogre would be great. We need to find a, some four drops though. And there's another one. I actually like this card a lot in limited it's a plus five plus one uh blood rush which is very good and as we are not into gruel that heavy i'd like to get some blood rushers in just red i do like it over bomber corpse where our two drop is already getting pretty filled up uh this primordial is a great edh card it's decent in limited but i'm not going to go heavy into gruel just to splash this giant out of age so i think i will take the scorch walker Five Alarm Fire is actually quite well in Boros, in a Boros deck. Uh, you often, it, it gets up to five counters, and so it's three mana for five damage. Sometimes it does trigger twice. There's nothing else. I mean, the cor the Corpse Blockade's decent, but no, and the Armor Transport's actually very good in, in a Boros deck as it can attack every turn, but it's just weak. It's just weak for three for a two, one. Massive Raid's okay as well. I'll just take this 5 alarm Fire and maybe play it. I love Madcap Skills. Very good card. This is also a 1-1 one, one Flyer for 1, um, which is also very strong. But sometimes it gets stuck in your hand later on. Great Extort card. But Madcap Skills is a great card. Great card overall. Especially if I can get it on this Double Striker. I Ember Base did Wield. As I thought it would, I could go a Gruel Gilgate to try to help out with our fixing, and then I could go into more green. But the Amber Beast is a fine pick. And we'll go the the Spire Spire Tracer here. I doubt I'll be splashing the Gruel, but it's the better of the cards here. Hey, look, a Skullcrack came all the way back back to us. So that's a gift, and I, pr I might even play it here in this hyper-aggressive 
uh, Boros deck. I'd like to get a one, a couple one drops, but can't go wrong with the skull crack. And I was hoping that a skull crack wheel, but not. But this one mine infantry isn't bad either. I like it. And our deck is coming, is building itself pretty, pretty good. I do like the the halberders. I could use another Sky Knight Legionnaire, of course, and a few. I'm not even sure what the one drops are in the in the format. Uh, horrible card in limited. Well, it's it's actually decent for fixer, but horrible, of course, horrible first pick. We get the True Fire Paladin, which is which is a great a great draw for uh, Boros. A great great first pick, I would say. I think it overall is the the most powerful of the cards here. Um, Parasite's okay, not 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 that great and limited. I guess here's one of our one drops, the Foundry Street Denizen. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, love Slaughterhorn, but again, I don't want to I don't want to try to even go to Gruel this late. The True Fire Paladin, the Smite, and hopefully this wields. I doubt it does, but we'll go ahead and take this True Fire Paladin. So another. Urbis Protector, not bad. That is a higher. We are looking for some higher casting cost creatures now, uh, some more impactful creatures, and it is six mana for a four four though, four four and a one one. So I, I really don't think it's that great. We could go the Prophetic Prism here, and that way we can splash one of the two colors. I do like the Court Street Denizen, but we are way our our, our two and three drop is just completely full. Uh, great card, but could go for the Mar Martial Glory as well. Let's get on our Double Striker. The Grizzly Spectacle is awesome, awesome, and I think I, I think I'm gonna have to take the Grizzly Spectacle and possibly splash into black. Just a it, very good card, and we also have another removal in black, but it is double black. Um. Yeah, we don't need any of the other cards. I'll, I'll just take this in, and possibly if we get a couple of Gill Gates, we can go into black. Hey, there's another another gift. We are gifted a Foundry Champion. Very good card. And it is a six drop. We are looking for some higher curve cards. And nothing else. Just the pit fight in this, in this uh, pack. It's a good Simic card. So we'll take the Founder Champion. Looking very good with our rares here. We've been gifted some very good rares. Uh, Sunhome Guildgate again. Wow, this is just coming our way. I don't know what's what's more powerful, the Salt Griffin or the Sunhome Guildgate, or Guild Mage. <laughs> I think the Guild Mage is a little more powerful, as he kind of works like the good old Selesnia one. As if you're deadlocked, you can just start pumping out the tokens. I think he's just. A little more powerful than the Assault Griffin, other than our, our once again our two drop is pretty much full, and we do need a four drop. But I can't. I don't think I can pass up this Sunhold Guild Mage. Another Ember Beast, another Basilica Guard, uh, Angel Edict is pretty good, um, as it is. It is late late game removal, but it is removal still. Devour Flesh is good as well. Not that great in this format though, as there are there is a bunch of just expendables in limited where and then there's gaining in the life as well with boros your whole idea is to get them down as quick as possible ember beast of course is still always a solid pick it might wield back to us i think the edict is better or it does curve a nice five slot that you know we only have one card right now in the five slot so i think i will take the angel angelic edict can't go wrong with it None of our two are uh, our bears with extort. I was hoping to get at least one bear with extort. Can't go wrong with mugging, of of course. There is another one drop. Uh, Boros Gilgate again. I think I, I I might. I think at this point, I think the Gilgate is just slightly more powerful than the mugging, as we do have decent removal. We've got a smite and angelic edict. I mean, mugging might be the right way to go. Prophetic Prism could help us splash into black. Uh, neither one of these I'm very fond of. So I think I'm going to take the Guild Gate. More fixing. We have a lot of these multicolored cards. Salt Griffin is definitely a gift here. It's perfect for our four slot. We needed it. Another Prophetic Prison would have helped us splash. 
but by far this this is this is a great later pick. Bomber Corpse is actually very good, but our two slot is so so heavy. This does hit our four slot, and it does give him double strike with uh, any sort of these blood rush cards. It will make our opponent definitely play around them. I think it it is slightly better. We're, we are still missing that four drop, but it's kind of a weaker four drop. And the Bomber Corpse is always a good card, but we we have so many two two drops. I think another four drop would be better. Again for our one drop, I think I'm just gonna I'll, I'm just gonna completely ignore the one drop and just start at two. Red creature, everything is red though. I'll take a foundry uh, denizen and possibly play it. I don't think the the Gilgate here is is worth at this point for the Adiphage. I do like the Slaughterhorn though, but. Yeah, it's not worth it going green at this point. All right, we could go into the the. I think the Court Street Denizen is better than the the Glory here. Works for our double striker though. Maybe I'll just go. I'll go go one Marshal Glory as another combat trick. And we will go ahead and take the Goblin here. It's looking better and better with now two double strikers. And this actually the Skyblender Staff is very good as well. Uh, you put it on a flyer and it makes your guys unblockable, but I, it's just too, not very impactful. One and three to equip. I'm going to take the goblin. And another goblin. We could either go the goblin or go for another uh, martial glory, but but I think the skin red goblins are just so much utility. I think it's just a slightly better than, than martial glory. And neither one of these is is very good. Let's we'll take the sky, sky games. And there's a one drop. We might even play him. We have two one drops now. I think that's pretty good for our curve. So I don't think I'm going to splash into black, even though there's two pretty good removal cards in it. And this mineral recovery is actually awesome, and it works pretty well with all of our our skin brand, our skin skin brand goblins. Uh, it does make our dutiful thrill a good one drop as well. But overall, I'm pretty happy with these pulls. We have we have some early pressure, so I definitely for our curve we will play these one drops. Uh, mugging, of course, is not on include. The smite is not on include in this deck. The gilgates are great. Uh, pit fight is probably something we're going to have to play. So as far as pumps, I do like the madcap skills and the martial glory. And the skull, I don't think the skull crack will make the cut. The sky illusionary, of course. The sun home guild mage. The true fire paladin. The Halbeerders are awesome. Veteran might not make the cut. Founder Champion, Aurelia. These guys are awesome. Not too sure about the Ember Beasts, as we don't... I mean, Ember Beasts are good at going 1, 2, 3. Uh, these are very slow. I mean, Flunkies are good because they're turned to, uh, turn earlier, and then you can actually start attacking when it matters. Hellraiser Goblins, amazing, amazing. Five Alarm Fire could definitely be included here. We'll see if it makes the cut, but I mean... I mean, I think this is, right here, this is the better cards. It's already at 17 creatures. We could just completely cut the Foundry the Foundry Street Denizens. They're most likely going to get in there for two before they're dealt with. I don't know if that is enough. And as we don't really have any battalion besides the... Besides... What do we have with Battalion? We have the the, the Halbeerders, and that's great for the Battalion to hit. And, I mean, everything does trigger it to hit for two on this on second turn. And maybe, maybe these guys will get in for four by, by the time they're dealt with. I just don't know if they're impactful enough. I do. I, I, I think in this in this, in this this case, we, we might not even want a, a one-drop. And... That way we can have one more removal, put our package up to four. And this is a little higher curve as well. And the guild gates, that way we can play first turn guild gates without any sort of needing a first turn first turn drop. And I might try this five alarm fire. We have 16 creatures here. This would put us at 17 lands. Definitely try it out. I, I, ha I don't have any experience playing it, but... 
it's whatever deals combat damage, so the, the counters could get on this 5 iron fire quite quickly. It is another 3 drop, which is pretty, pretty full. So we need one more card, or we could actually go 17 lands, which is probably now with the curve it a little higher. It is still quite, quite low. as our average cast is and mostly two drops here average cast is three so that usually is around 17 that is pretty high to go 16 or 15 so I probably will I, I'm gonna go 17 here and let's see here how many doubles of each do we have now it's pretty much even let's go seven and seven Uh, actually, yeah, we'll go seven and seven. We have plenty of ways to hit our hit our mountains. So that's a that's what I'm gonna look at. Uh, wait, why well, didn't add one more land? We'll add one more mountain. There we go. Looks good. Pretty happy with this. Anyway, this is Kevin from RogueDeckBuilder.com. We'll have match number one coming shortly. Thanks for watching.